All right, we're gonna try this out. So, um, you'll have everything you need to build the, uh, the spider enclosure, uh, including a pot light, a uh, little pot light. Uh, it comes with the adapter with a, a switch on it. Um, the thermometer and uh, humidity meter will already be installed in there just because it's the best use of space. However, if you ever need to get at it, um, all you need to do is poke it out from the back. There is some grills at the back to allow the temperature to equalize at the back. You can just get something um, fairly like a ruler or something thin uh, to poke through there. I've done it with a thumbtack um, and then it'll pop out the front. It's a friction fit. So to assemble, basically take out all the pieces. And everything is held together with pegs. Um, it's a friction fit, it's a little loose. So what I'd recommend doing is if you're setting it up permanently is uh, put a little dab of hot glue on the pegs before you insert them, or maybe a drop of super glue. Uh, and then uh, they'll be much more rigid and solid. The whole thing does get a little bit more rigid once you've got all the plexiglass and all of the all of the uh, pieces put in. But if you have trouble with uh, any of the pieces, just put them in slightly and force them down on the table, and that puts them in pretty tight. I had to use pliers to get some of these out. So peg in there, hole in the bottom, good to go. Do that with all four legs. So I've got some pegs off to the side here. Peg's a little light on the track. Okay. So there we go. Uh, all four four legs in. And again, oops. I do recommend uh, you super glue them in or use hot glue, otherwise when you lift them up they might fall off. Next will be the pillars. Turn this right really forward. So I just found it easiest to put the uh, pegs into the holes first. And uh, I recommend you do the. There's a shorter side and a, a shorter side and a longer side. I recommend you do the longer side down just so it doesn't interfere with this. But it's not going to wreck anything if you do it backwards. down. Perfect. Now, this is probably the trickiest part, just because the, they do wobble a little bit. Put that on frame there. Put your pegs in the tops. And you just line them up. One, two, and then the last one's always tricky. Four. And then you just slide the plexiglass in from the top. I left the plexiglass a little bit of play, so it's easy to slide in and out if you need to do some cleaning. Also, the top pot light is a, a large circular hole, so if you have some long tweezers, you can work at it through that way. That way you're less likely to uh, upset your little floof if he's hiding in a corner or attached to the, the glass. But all four in, and then you grab your pot light, put it on the middle, and I even printed a little cap. So uh, there are two little holes at the top of the pot light that screws can go through to mount to like a cabinet. So what I did is I printed a cap, and you, if you rotate it one way, the, hose will show, the holes will show, and if you rotate it the other, the holes will be blocked. Um, I'm planning on printing little signs that are going to utilize the light leaked from these little holes, um, so you can have like customized names. Um, so there's two spots cut out for the wire, depending on which one you want, because I have no, uh, because I have no sign right now. I'm just going to put it so it's blocked. And there we go. Your enclosure is complete. Hopefully spider-proof. 
And again, it would be a little bit firmer if I glued it all into place, but I didn't want to do that on yours. And yeah, so vent holes along the side and these little four millimeter holes in there will be good if I um, 3D print any customizations or branches or little homes. Uh, the plexiglass needs a little bit of dusting because I put it down on my desk, <laughs> sorry. Um, but yeah, I uh, hope you like it. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Uh, it's my first time doing something like this. And uh, if you have any improvements or any ideas about um, what I could do to, to make it better, um, that would be awesome. Um, and yeah, I did print it with holes on the top and bottom of these pegs, so they could be stacked on top of each other, which I think is pretty cool. And I've had the pot light on for 24 hours solid, and it went from 71.4 to 71.8, but that could have just been the temperature of my house. So I, I really think with enough airflow, there's no heat whatsoever. I don't know how it would be with something else stacked on top of it, but uh, I think with all the airflow, we'd be fine. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, yeah, that, that'd be awesome. Thank you. Bye.